everyone. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to use boom cards in your classroom. They're super awesome and I have been including them in my TPT download so any of my interactive PDFs now also have boom cards along with the quiz on Google Form. So it's just another great way to push these digital digital activities out to your students and even collect data as well. So um, when you download one of these activities, you're going to get a zipped folder. When you unzip the folder, you're going to get these three options. I'm going to open the one that says boom cards. Um, so this one and you're gonna get something that looks like this you're gonna click here or on the image and this link will pop up if you don't have an account you can create one right here or you can just sign in and then by clicking this stuff here you will add it to your boom card library okay so your library is right here and this shows all of the boom cards that you have purchased on TPT once you've added them to your library or have bought them from the boom store as well. So there's a few things you can do by hitting this action button. The first is create a fast pin. So a fast pin is a way to provide this activity to your students without giving them an account. So you can copy these numbers and letters and have your students either copy that when they sign in or you can give them this link. This link will work for 14 days. And then after 14 days, you can create a new one. You can create a new one every two weeks. They don't... Um, you can keep creating them, but the current links do expire. So that is an option with the free account. If you decide to get a paid account, which are really very affordable, and you also get a free, um, I think it's three months right now, trial when you sign up, or if you sign up during the COVID-19 school closures, you get a free account through July. So with that, you can send your, you can assign them to your students, and I believe that's where this hyperplay link in as well. Okay, so they sign in and then they can play there. Okay, or you can assign to students in your class. So you can assign to your whole class or you can assign to specific students. So let me show you how to set up your class as well. So you're going to go over here to classes. Here is my test class. Um, to add a student, you can just click new student, type in their name and a four word password. It can be super easy. Um, if you have a Google Classroom, you can import it right here, and then it will sync, and your students will not need another login. They can do that all through Google, which is super awesome. When you have separate students, you can assign activities for certain students. So I only want this student to work on who questions. So I can assign to that student, and then this student is going to be working on money. And I've already selected some other ones for that student. Okay, so that is how that looks. Um, when your students take these um, assignments, you can go to reports. And this is with the premium account or your trial account. And you can see their progress, how many cards they've gone through. Every time it will show them 20 cards unless you decide to do a different number. Or if another number is decided for that deck, it will show you the amount of time it takes them to answer and how well they've done. Okay, this is their overall percentage. This is the percentage they took the last time they did it. And you can go through and you can select which ones you want to see. All right, so that is so awesome. You can export this data and it's just so great that you can have that data right there for you. So there's a few more things you can do in the Boom Card Library. So um, a lot of these activities that I have, I have about 40 cards, it depends. It can be anywhere from between 20 and 40, 60. So I have it assigned to do 20 at a time. If you would like to custom play, you can click this. And you can choose some options. You can change the default amount of cards. If you only want a student to see five cards at a time, 10 cards, you can change that. If you want a student to see all 40, you can change that right here. Okay, show the answer if they give up. You can have that option. Allow multiple plays, you can have that option. All right, so those are some of the settings. Um, some other things you have in here, you can hide some cards. If there are some cards that are not appropriate for some reason, for some reason, you can go through and you can choose to hide whatever cards are not, not ones you want your students to be working on right now.
Okay. Um, I believe that's all of the options. You can view reports from here. You also have the option to print these cards. Um, so this will be just like a printable version of the cards. Um, so that's a cool option as well. Okay, what I didn't do was show you how it looks. So how about I go through and show you? It's helping you. a friend, a good choice. Okay, so then a student will select yes or no for, um, well, I guess I should show you what it says. Is if breaking it's no. toys a good choice? So if they select the wrong answer. Is breaking toys a good choice? It will read it again and they'll have an option to try as well. Is Try eating again. healthy a so, good choice? So um, as you could hear here, some of them have audio. If the questions are different on each page, I thought the audio was helpful. Helpful for those, the when, who, all of these WH questions have audio as well. The books all include audio. Um, and you can tell quickly if a thing has audio by seeing this little audio symbol right here. I've added that to most of them. Some of them don't need audio because it's the same thing every time. Like, do you have enough? Like, they can look and read read and decide. Okay, so it just depends. If they needed audio, I added it. If not, um, I didn't. So those are some of the activities I already have in my store. There's tons of different topics and I'm still creating more. So if there's a topic you would like to see, let me know and I will work on it. And I'm super excited about these books. So let me show you these books too. So these are my sentence starter books that are available in my store already. Um, I will choose a big slice. And these ones are different. I like cake. Instead of just selecting, the students have the option to drag. Okay, and it doesn't tell them if it's right or wrong right away because I want them to be able to stay on this page and repeat, I like cake. Okay, this point for, of these books is to get them talking in longer sentences. And then they will submit when they're ready. Whoops. And if they got it wrong, they can try again to match. Okay, so that I is what the books look like. I bring to the party. I like presents. Okay. So, um, yeah, those are the boom cards, and they're super awesome. I definitely hope you try it out. Try the free trial and see what you think. And as always, if you have any questions, you can email me, breezyspecialed at gmail.com, or connect with me on social media. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.